we had a medical doctor who came and did um, gave a presentation at one of our conferences on Richard the Third, um, and so it, it's really forcing people to to break out of these molds, that, their disciplinary molds, and and really try to think uh, alongside one another, and that's it's been successful so far. What really interests me about the center is that it's trying to to make these conversations still very relevant to literary studies today. So it puts into conversation psychoanalysis, not only classical, but you know everything that's been advanced in the last hundred years or so, um, along with affect theory, along with cognitive studies and studies in cognition. Um, and most importantly, it's a center that brings, to, brings together academics and clinicians to have these conversations. So it's, it's both theoretical and applied, and that really opens up some interesting dialogues uh, among the graduate students, the faculty, and then people in the community who are practicing what we're theorizing with regard to literature. There's been a slew of conferences and talks that we've hosted, which, again, get people together um, to hear about these ideas. Graduate students are always involved with setting up the conferences, the intellectual um, um, justification behind the, behind the conferences. I mean, the conference model has served literature in the mind well, and we've gotten a lot of people um, from different departments, off-campus, clinical positions, psychiatric wards, to come and talk. And so I would like to see some more graduate student involvement, not only at those conferences, but uh, by actually hosting a graduate conference on whatever the biennial theme might be for literature in the mind for that year or two. Um, so that's, that's, po that's a possibility that's in the works right now, is having a graduate student conference for the first time for Lit in Mind. So there's been, there has been talk about reading groups that are, um, that are again trying to keep up to date with the most current theories in literature in the mind. Um, and uh, they would of course be aligned with whatever the biennial theme of literature in the mind would be. We're seeking input from graduate students and faculty inside and outside the department for what the next round of, uh, of intellectual discovery would be, and the reading groups will probably form around those. Even though this is a center that revolves around theoretical models, everybody who's involved really does see the theory emerging from their own disciplines, their own subdisciplines, and their own texts that they work with. And that's the exciting part, is that a Victorianist is going to understand literature in the mind in a different way than a medievalist or a post-colonialist will. But it helps us build up this idea of what you know, mind studies is um, in a really kind of cross-disciplinary and cross-boundary way uh, that emerges sort of outside of the center itself.